Hey folks, it's me Rick and I'm uh, making a video kind of late for me. Um, usually I'm already in bed by 9 o'clock. I'm, I'm a lightweight, I admit it. I like getting up early. I like getting out in the world. Um, but my air conditioner broke. It was blowing out hot air and it's really humid outside. Pretty warm here in Connecticut tonight. And um, so I couldn't sleep. So I thought I'd jump on YouTube. And I noticed I had um, a few messages from people. And there was one that really touched me. It was from a, um, a viewer who I will respect and keep nameless. Um, and he was a young guy. And he came across a video that I made a few months ago. And it, the video was about me coming out. And about how I uh, came out and what made me come out. And, um, you know, and the reaction afterwards. And he said in his um, message to me that uh, he really, it really encouraged him. And um, but he wished that he had the strength that I had at that time to come out for himself. And uh, he said he might not ever come out because he's so afraid. And I just want to let him know I remember that fear. That fear you never forget. You look at that fear different, I think, um, once you do come out and um, the initial shock is over with. And I know that I am very lucky and I'm very thankful for the way my family and friends uh, reacted to it. I was living two separate lives. Um, I was dating, had a very serious relationship. And on the other hand, um, you know, just never, never lied about it with my family. I just never talked about it. I talked about it. I was too afraid, and I, you know, and even then, um, I wasn't too sure what the fear was, and it was rejection. And when I came to realize that was, um, there was a eulogy for United Flight 93 hero Mark Bingham, and part of that eulogy read, um, "Don't let the fear of rejection keep you from showing up every day of your life," and um, that was what I was doing. That was me. And those words changed my life, and I still live by that. Um, I don't let the fear of rejection stop me. Uh, now I friggin' run right over it and beat it into the ground and keep walking. Uh, you know, it's um, someone might not like you for who you are or um, who you're with, and um, you gotta look beyond that because uh, as long as you're being a good guy and you like yourself. Um, that's the key, you gotta like yourself. Um, but um, when you do, there's no stopping you. And uh, that's what, that's part of the strength that I found. And I'm thankful for Mark Bingham's mom, Alice, for teaching me that. And, um, but going back to the message, um, you know, I understand your fear. And, um, you know, being in a closet is a frightening thing, it's a lonely thing. And um, I think one of the things that hurt the most, one of the most loneliest feelings I've ever experienced um, um, while in the closet was, um, oh, I have a message. Someone actually uh, texted me. Oh, you have friends. Okay, that's good. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that, uh, for the interruption. But one of the loneliest feelings I've ever experienced um, in the closet was um, when I broke up with um, the guy I was seeing, and it was a serious relationship, and my heart was broken. And um, I realized that there was no one I could cry to, and I really, I wanted to cry with somebody, and there was no one. There was no one there to hug me, to tell me it would be okay. Um, there was nobody. It, I was alone, and um, it killed me. It really, really killed me, and that was probably one of the breaking points that set the, um, uh, the whole process and motion of me coming out um, because I was alone. I had to look at my friends and family and smile when I was crying on the inside. And, um, you know, so I understand the fear. I understand the loneliness and, uh, and the whole bit. And I just wanted to let you know, and anyone out there um, who is thinking about coming out, you know, if you ever want to contact me or um, or even make a message here on my um, on my vlog here, uh, feel welcome to, because um, you know it's a battle, and you need soldiers on your team, and I'll be a soldier for you, and I'll uh, you know stand behind you and support you. And um, if anyone has any stories about coming out or um, their reaction, 
um, please post them. I mean, I'd love to hear them or uh, make a video and let us know because um, I think it needs to be said and heard and uh, just for encouragement for the people that want to come out and that are afraid. And, um, you know, I also was thinking, you know, even that word, that, that saying in the closet, um, it's tough. I, thought, I don't know where it came from. I'm sure it has a horrifying meaning behind it um, because I could almost imagine where it came from. But also it's um, um, being in the closet. It's almost like being in prison because you, know, you never like you never get sunshine on your face. You know, you, you're not free. And, but I will tell you, the minute the sunshine hits your face, when you are free, it feels like you could fly. And um, it's an incredible feeling. But um, again, my, my friends and family, their reaction was very positive, and I love them so much for that. And, um, but um, again, I've heard some horror stories. So um, again, I'm here to support you guys. And let me know um, through emails or messages or whatever. Um, you know your story if you could and um, peace out and I'm here for you guys all right because I understand all right good night guys it's so hot uh.